Green Field for another look at the forecast. Kirk? Well, it's a soggy and cold night in the Mid-Ohio Valley after we've had at least seven tenths of an inch already. It does look like we've got a little bit more yet to go. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite. And as you can see, uh, the second wave of showers has come in. It looks like it's curling and weakening somewhat, not as heavy of downpours. We're looking for the yellow cells. They mainly have been up in the mountains and it looks like they've died out just as they've gotten into Ritchie County. But we still have some light showers that are going to continue as this swirls through the region. Taking a look at the view on the Jantills Marietta Skycam atop the Lafayette Hotel. 47 degrees, it feels like 45. The wind's out of the south at 5 miles per hour. Relative humidity is 93% and the pressure 29.92 inches is steady. Looking at our current temperatures, we have 51 in Columbus, 56 at Cincinnati. We're at 49 in Athens, 48 in Wheeling, 47 for Parkersburg and Charleston. And the temperatures are likely to remain pretty constant as we go this evening. The winds from the south may be 3 to 5 miles per hour, and so there's a little bit of wind chill. We're about 10 degrees colder than we were last night at this same time. When we take a look at the future cast for rain, again, this is based on the models. How much more is left that could be squeezed out? Looks like there's about 14 hundredths of an inch that St. Mary's could see, and we're looking at the rest thinning out at this point, uh, maybe uh, just a little bit more left. When we play the radar echoes again, this is probably the second of three waves. The third wave may not really intensify as this spins and rolls through the area. You can see on the radar satellite composite that the northern, rather the flow from the south is ahead of the cold front drawn around a low pressure system that's over uh, Michigan and the Great Lakes. So wind direction expected to change behind this. As we go through the overnight, the rain showers stop. It looks like we'll see some cloud cover coming down out of the north as the winds change. And if there are any showers, they're going to be extremely light on Friday. As we get into Saturday, the skies begin to break up as well. Here's the drought monitor that was released today. Again, an improvement based on a snapshot of the situation from Tuesday that reflects only Sunday's inch of rainfall. This will improve next week as well. So our overnight low is 46, 47 degrees. Again, cloudy, not as cold with some lingering showers. Tomorrow, cloudy. 54, 55 degrees, that's about it. It'll be a cool Friday to be sure. And we'll slowly increase our temperatures as we go through the weekend. The overnight on Saturday looks like it'll be close to freezing. As we start the work week, temperatures will be about 62, 63 and about 50-50 uh, chance roughly on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday for more rain showers.